What is going on, guys? I got my buddy Dalton right there. Actually, if you're ever looking for a gator trip or a guide trip, where can they check you out, Dalton? Um, on Facebook, it's Florida Fish Stories. Florida Fish Stories. Mm -hmm. Check him out. He does gator trips and guide trips. But what I really want to show you is this. Have you guys ever seen a boat ramp where you have to swim to your boat? <laughs> this is it. So basically, you got to back your truck in like like 35 feet for it to even like drop. So it's kind of a, a long way down. It's a little bit sketch, but we're, we're going to see if it's worth it. We're going to go try to catch some fish. There's some super clear water. The fish school here. They do all kinds of cool stuff. It's, it's a lake I haven't been on that much, so I'm kind of excited. Dalton knows it pretty well, so let's get this boat in and hopefully not get stuck. That right there, you see that guy on the top? That's the one you want to catch. So brush ball fishing, you see me doing a lot during the summer when I come down here to Florida. And the reason is these fish like to get deep on lakes that they can, and they use that structure. But what's interesting is they're not the only ones using it. Brim, shad, all your, actually Dalton brought up a great word, all these pelagic kind of like baits are, are all out on that stuff. So it congregates everything that the bass want to eat and then the bass as well. But that's another reason why I have 36 rods on deck, not including Dalton's. Anything from a Ned to a drop shot to a Tamiki rig to a Nico rig, a football jig, pair jig, all just all kinds of just crankbait over there. And and the real theme to that is these baits are on the bottom, they're drag baits, they're up high suspended baits. I even got actually I even got a big old spook back there. So I got a top water bait. One of the biggest keys to this brush pile deal is figuring out where they're at in the water column, not always assuming they'll always be there, but having the equipment and the tackle to address every part of the water column. Because what you'll find is that brush might be in 20 feet of water, but those fish might be 10 foot above it. They might be right on the bottom. They might be inside the brush. So you need a little heavier setup, something with a brush guard to actually get in there. Sometimes they're on the side. Sometimes they want a spoon jerked up on the side for as simple fishing as it is there's a lot of different dimensions to it based upon the way the fish can be set up and we missed the plastic because there we go dude he just sat on it talking about breakfast and we catch like a three and a half pounder <laughs> oh pinky dude see how clear that water is guys but me and Dalton were just talking off camera, and this is what we're talking about. You get a big head and a, a tiny, tiny little body. That sometimes happens down here in Florida. So you kind of, you can see what we're fishing right there. That's actually a good example because you can see how the brim and the fish are actually up, and there's very little at the bottom. I think it's actually a sunken boat or just a couple stumps right there. But the process is pretty simple when it comes to this brush pile fishing. You need a hat like Dalton's that you that you see in the back there. <laughs> I gotta bust this ball. You need to have a hood. Or a hat like Dalton. Oh, you, you, yo! Florida Smallies, boys! Florida Smallies! Dude, he smoked it. I hope you guys saw that fish jump. That choker was like three and a half, four feet in the air. Dalton's been talking about fishing for smallmouth this whole day, and I'm like, dude, we're in Florida. Lay off the smallmouth talk. Like, you're making me antsy. And, and yet he takes me to a lake where they, the largemouth basically act like small mouth. Freaking me, there he goes again. <laughs> Dalton, you gonna tie on a drop shot now? I think, dude, I'm not, I'm not one of those guys, but I think we're at a point where, I think it's a, uh, I twisted your arm. How about it? That is a classic summer fish. Big head, not so big body. But dude, he chomped that pink worm. Absolutely killer on a drop shot this time of year, especially with that clear water. You get some, oh, you want coming off. Oh, no, 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 Oh, come on out. You gotta get the hook out. All right, we're gonna let her go real quick because I don't like keeping them out of the water too long. Go back down, jump her. Look at her go. So let me show you what I've been using here. So I got a little rubber worm rebar hook. I think this is the two out, I wanna say, and it's the, the mid-range wire, like the standard wire, not the ultra soft one. And then a little West Coast tungsten, that, or West Coast weights, uh, that's lead weight, uh, quarter ounce. If you got enough money to fish tungsten weights on your drop shots, you are more big time than me. So a six inch robo worm, just in that morning dawn, it, it's great on these clear green lakes. Um, it, and the water doesn't even have to be like muddy or murky. There's just 
just something about it. I don't know if the silhouette looks like a bait fish or something, but it works in Florida, it works in Alabama, it works in Georgia, it works all over the place. But you do basically a simple Texas rig. So just like a flipping hook, you bring it out, and on that rebarb hook, there's a little keeper right there, that black thing. And um, you butt that up against the worm, and boom, Texas rig, super streamlined, just kind of dangles like that. And I'm not even doing that much with it, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of dragging it and letting it sit, and that's when I'm getting most of my bites. See that right there? Uh, impression, sometimes there's, there's limestone or little hard spots. Sometimes it's actually burn beds out deep. But it only shows up on side scan. Yeah, Dalton, that hat is everything, dude. <laughs> well, there's a row of what look like freaking Mondo Mondosons, dude. And they're literally just sitting out in front of the boat. So I'm going to drop straight down on them. Hey, oh, what are you? That ain't moving that much. Is that, is that a bass? I don't know. Oh, dude. That's a giant. Oh, my God, Dalton. Oh, my God. Do you want net or my hand? Uh, I, you got I'm that? Faith in your decision. I've been telling Dalton. I'm going to get the scooper. Grabbing the fray bill. I'm not taking a chance with this bugger. Been telling Dalton he is on the hook for a seven pounder. And Dalton delivered, boy. <laughs> on a drop shot, right? Okay. <laughs> the only thing I throw. Dude, these fish are so mean. Would you, would you, it's on a big old worm? Old Faithful Senko. Old Faithful Senko. No, it's an ace. I gave you one of oh, mine, yeah. so it's an ace. Yeah. It's a Galler ace. You gonna catch this fish, Dalton, or you just gonna let him swim on you, buddy? I haven't caught a fish in a while. I whoa, whoa, I don't even know where Oh, yeah. Whoa! In the nut oh, dude, that's a big old head on that joker. Yeah. Dude, Dalton, nice job, dude. That's a beauty, too, man. I gave Dalton first cast on a brush pile, and look what happens, dude. <laughs> uh, he's, he's a co-angler, too, in the BFL, dude. I think he's going to be a good boater. He literally stepped up to the front of my boat and caught the biggest fish of the day. Let's see that thing real quick, Dalton. Let's let her go since it's all, all hot out. And that, dude, that's a beauty, dude. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and let her go. Yeah, we'll get back right, here. Go back here. Just don't knock me out of the boat. Dude, that's a gorgeous fish. Big ol' head. They are mean, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's nice try that dude. again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what's funny. We came out here and I've fished out here before, caught a bunch of schooling fish, a bunch of fish on swim baits, on, on moving baits, on crank baits, sp uh, spoons, hair jigs. And what we've ended up resorting to is, is that. Yeah, you saw that in Gunnersville a lot. And then the other thing is the little dangle drop shot, which actually isn't even up here because I threw my rod down. It's back here. A little dangle drop shot on like a 610, eight pound test. So it shows you expectations are not always fulfilled when bass fishing, but that's part of the fun, right? I think maybe a little further cast. Ooh. Okay, that's a big one. You. I got him, dude. You just fish on. Let's let's juice this out. There was no doubt about that, but it's the old drofter shotter again. I, I keep trying to want to catch them on a swim bait and stuff, but uh, they're they're not having it. And Dalton wasn't lying when he said these fish are mean, dude. He does not want to come up. They like the old pink worm, though. Yeah, you giving up now? Oh, oh he took my love. Stay out of there. Oh, beef head right there. Come on here. Gotcha. Dude, I thought you were like five pounds. You're like three and a half pounds the way you were fighting. This is a solid one, though. Beautiful fish, too. Back you go. See how we go, go. Uh oh. There you go. Oh. That's a big. All right. We'll grab the net scooper. I got the scooper. Dalton's got the big one. This is how you wrap up. A good day of fishing with your buddy. Oh, no! <laughs> so you're Dalton, you're saying he didn't want the pink worm? Oh, gosh! <laughs> Terrible net job. Where's swimsuit girl when I need her? Look at, look at what you did, Dalton. Whew. You saying I gotta pick up a stick bait with like a quarter ounce weight and drag it around on the bottom like that? No more pink worm drop shot? You I'll do whatever it. I got to catch him. Nice job, Dalton. 
Look at that water, so clear. Thank you for getting my camera all wet. I thought he was gonna be bigger. And that's how you end the day of fishing with your buddy saying, thought he was gonna be bigger. Dalton definitely had the bigs today. It, you know, it's funny, this time of year, dragging that worm around, for as much as it's a grind, for as much as it's old school, it works, dude. Whether it's a ribbon tail, the stick bait, like you've seen me using and Dalton using in the video, just getting that big hunk of plastic, putting on as lightweight as possible, it, it catches them. Now, I caught a bunch of numbers, though. I definitely caught a lot more fish than Dalton, using that drop shot using that pink worm a little smaller profile but not the size i have one like decent one but the other thing that you'll find too is today we talk about where the fish are like set up on the brush where they're set up on the bottom i caught a lot of fish when we'd see them up off the bottom that's when that drop shot came into play dalton on the other hand when we'd see a thing of brush and maybe not see a bunch of fish all swimming around doing their thing that's when Dalton would catch those big ones. So it's kind of a game where you got you got to play different angles, play different depth columns, and in the end, you'll end up with a decent bag. We had a blast. I'm going to go say bye to Dalton. If you guys ever want to get a gator trip, this is the guy that you want to talk to or if you want to go worm fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you back from Florida, hopefully catching some more bigs. But until then, tight lines.